If you guys didn't see the title, could you tell what movie I'm watching just based off the fit? You definitely could. I am watching the 2023 Barbie film. This is a movie that I have been dying to watch. When Barbenheimer like was happening, you guys don't realize the restraint it took for me to not buy tickets a month in advance. This was an event I really, really wanted to be a part of. I held myself back. I showed restraint just so I could share this experience with you guys. When the Barbie trailer first came out, I hopped on that and I wanted to watch it ASAP. I actually posted it as a video, so I'm sure some of you watched it. And you guys saw how hype I was just to get the first look. This is a movie that I've heard so many great things about and I'm so excited to watch. This movie is starring the wonderful Margot Robbie and our boy Ryan Gosling. I'm very excited. You guys could not even imagine how excited I am to finally experience this movie and I get to share this with you guys so I'm super stoked I hope you guys enjoy if you're new to the channel and you want to watch my full-length reaction be sure to check out my patreon I will be linking that down below in the description but without further ado oh my god let's get into the 2023 film Barbie I was thinking about dressing up as Ken because I'm literally Ryan Gosling. He's me. I'm him. <laughs> I love that. I love the Ryan Gosling meme. I love Ryan Gosling. <sighs> okay, I'm getting myself so hype. I'm like tearing up. I'm so excited. We're good. We're, do we're doing this. All right, you guys ready? Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Oh, this was the first look, remember? Where the Since kids? Since the beginning of oh. time, there have been dolls. Who put them in the desert? Why are there so many little girls in the desert? Who put- who dropped them in the desert? They had different aspirations for these little girls. They're gonna be queens! She has such a bright smile! <laughs> Look at her face! Oh, yeah, that baby took that cup to the head like a champ. Oh, she's- Wow, that is one indestructible baby doll. Punt the babies! That girl got an arm on her. Barbie changed everything. And Barbie is all of these women. Her own house, her own car, her own career. Thanks to Barbie, all problems of feminism and equal rights have been solved. Oh, really? Because <laughs> of Barbie? That's what the Barbies think. Living her best day every day. When I wake so does up, each Barbie have a different Barbie la land? Like, there's not just one main Barbie. Hey, Barbie, hey. I used to play with Barbies growing up. I love the dream houses and stuff. Everything is so neat and perfect. You're going in the pool fully dressed? Bar oh. She bamboozled me. Nobody bothers to walk them down the stairs and out the door, etc. You just pick them up and put them where you want them to go. Hey, I was still singing. <laughs> Mitch was Barbie's pregnant friend. She was discontinued by Mattel because a pregnant doll is just too weird. Turn to the Barbie next to you. Tell her how much you love her. Compliment her. <laughs> I love that. The Nobel Prize for Journalism goes to Barbie. The Nobel Prize for Journalism. I deserve it. And the Nobel Prize it. for Literature goes to Barbie. The confidence, I love it. I have no difficulty holding both logic and feeling at the same time. I love that. Oh, the, oh my gosh, the original Barbies. Ken only has a great day if Barbie Run! looks at him. Ken! Sorry, I'm so excited. Hi, Barbie! Hi, Barbie! Hi, Ken! Hi, Barbie! Hi, Ken! Hi, Ken! Hi, Barbie! Hi, Barbie! Hi, Barbie! Oh, hi, Alan! There are no multiples of Alan. He's just Alan. <laughs> Yeah, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Ken, what are you doing? Are you gonna ride that wave? I want that outfit. I want that outfit so bad. Ken! <laughs> Wait, why is he screaming for so long? Why is he screaming like that? Why did he scream for so long? Oh, looks like this beach was a little too much beach for you, Ken. All right, Ken, you're on. 
person. I will beat both of you. I don't like any of this. Oh, you don't even know God. Yourself off. How are you going to beat both of you? It doesn't make sense. Can. Let's go. I mean, they really wanted to. I really like that Alan's just in the background screaming, just being a part of it. It's really uncomfortable to see Michael Sarah in this role, but I, I love it like a lot. Great. Not even broken. You'll be fine. You know, surfer's not even my job and it is not lifeguard. Yeah, because actually my job, it's just beach. What? What do you mean your job is beach? Can I come to your house tonight? Sure. So cool. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. Bye. Okay. Bye. Goodbye. Get it, Alan. I need more Alan. Get him back in the shot right now. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> what? Do you guys ever think about dying? Real, real, Barbie. Dying to dance. Yeah! Oh, so our Barbie has some depth. But she can't let anybody know because no one else really thinks about it. She's like, there's more to life than just this perfect life. Interesting. She's self-aware. I thought I might stay over tonight. To do what? I'm actually not sure. I don't want you here. It's Barbie's dream house. It's not Ken's dream house, right? And it's girls' night. Come on, Barbie's summer party. <laughs> Every night. Forever and ever. Ken is also, he also has some depth. He feels like disappointment and kind of sad. A little empty. Definitely not thinking about death anymore. Oh. That's such a cute bed. Oh my gosh. Imagine sleeping there. Oh, today's not as perfect as the other days. Could it be those irrepressible thoughts of death? Oh, that song got dark. Ah! Oh, oh, girl, are you okay? Let's run towards the water. <gasps> my feet! She's not as perfect. She doesn't know what to do. My feet, my heels are on the ground. Let me see. <laughs> Why are they vomiting? You're malfunctioning. What? You're gonna have to visit Weird Barbie. How is that gonna fix it? Someone played with her too hard in the real world. Oh yeah, cut her hair. Yeah, Kate McKinnon plays her. Oh, but she's got like a funky house. It's giving 80s. I used to have the doggy. That one poops, not the one that poops. Welcome to my weird house. Just had to come see you about my feet. Flat. Is Kate McKinnon actually that flexible? Because it's freaking me out. What preceded this? Hot to death. Thoughts of death. What? I've heard of this. You've opened a portal. How does she know all this? You gotta go fix it. Look at your upper thigh. What is that? A cellulite. No! <laughs> she hits! She hissed at her! And you have to find the girl who's playing with you. There's the girl and the doll, and never the twain shall cross. The two of you are becoming inextricably intertwined. So should it move? Oh. You can go back to your regular life, or you can know the truth about yeah. the universe. Oh, are you blue pilling, red pilling? All right, all right, Morpheus. The high heel. Yeah. No. Get get out of here with the Jesus sandals. No, I don't want those. At least they're not Crocs. I just gave you a choice so you could feel some sense of control. So there is no option one? No. Don't blame me. Blame Mattel. They make the rules. Send me through the portal. It's actually a sports car to a speedboat to a rocket to a snowmobile, which will take you most of the way to the state of Los Angeles and enter the country of California. The country of California? The state of Los Angeles? Are you scared? No. I, <laughs> I bet you're scared. Well, you bet both those things incorrectly, and I bet in the opposite direction. You'll be such a hero to them. I'll bet every woman will say thank you and give you a really big hug. Oh, so she's going to the real world, and she's going to experience the realities of, of how it really is for women and everybody. I'm coming with you. What if there's beach? You'll need someone your, who's a professional. Your, your, your job is beach. You need him. Bring your roller blades. I literally go nowhere without them. <laughs> Let's do this. Can I sit in the front? No. 
Why does she hate Ken so much? Aren't they? They're supposed to be together and, and like go off each other's energy. I thought. Oh, oh my god, I love his fuzzy leg warmers. Like the big furry ones. So cute. There's Beach! Can fulfill his can 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 fulfill his job. There is in fact Beach. Give us a smile, Blondie. Why are these men looking at me? Yeah, they're also staring at me. And there's no undertone of violence. Mine very much has an undertone of violence. Oh, are you gosh. surprised with that? If I said you had a hot body, would you hold it again? Have a mirror in your pocket? I do not have a vagina. I'm really glad that she's very clear about that. I have all, all the genitals. <laughs> Everything's almost like reversed here. Oh. No! Yes! Oh. <laughs> we look great. I love fringe. You guys gotta pay for that stuff. Are you gonna go to prison again? Yep. Because you can imagine more. You know what? Keep them. Who is playing with me? I hate what people think. Ken, go, go Beach. Go By myself? Yes. Really? Okay. <laughs> so much excuse me sir what's up thanks man oh and ken's gonna feel empowered here because he's not the one getting ogled he's not getting he's not getting the sa he's gonna feel like he owns the world like he's a king great work out man dude mobile i'm worried about it not now margaret let's shake on this we are gonna make a lot this hurts this hurts to watch. This is making me sad. This is making me feel bad. I know it's just dramatically like emphasized, but still like, dang. She's like feeling emotions for the first time, like all of them. You're so beautiful. I know it. <laughs> Why is he getting emotional? I got it. it. What do you got? You go first. She's She's at the world. Well, let's go to the okay. school. Oh no, tissues, please! I didn't think I'd have to cry. I didn't think I would cry. What the heck, world? Oh god, the Mattel headquarters. Who of your dolls have gotten loose? Answering to Barbie and Ken. Go grab the bed, Aaron. I won't. This is where we're gonna see Will Ferrell, right? I just saw him in a suit, so I'm assuming he's like the top guy. But what do we really sell? I'll tell you what. We sell dreams and imagination. I think you're gonna want to hear this, sir. Can you just email it? So you can not look at it. Fine, whisper me. This would be very bad. Barbie in the real world. What kind of magic is Mattel working with? How much do you weigh? It doesn't matter. Sounds like a job for the box. What? No one rests until Why did he this doll ask his weight? Back in a box. Why do you have drumsticks? I'm so confused. I've started to get all these weirdo feelings. Like I have fear with no specific object. Anxiety. I feel amazing. Because <laughs> kids don't take it out on the dads. What are you doing? What? Are, who? Uh, what are you, the hall monitor? Get out of here, punk. Hey, ladies. Sasha. Who are you? Barbie! You really think you're Barbie? Well, she is, yeah. We haven't played with Barbie since we were like five years old. Why? You've been making women feel bad about themselves since you were invented. Sexualized capitalism, unrealistic physical ideals. No, no, no. You destroy girls' innate sense of worth and you are killing the planet with your glorification of rampant consumerism. I know what they're talking about, about the unrealistic standards for women, but you know, Barbie kind of put out there, but they also kind of wanted to make it so like girls have good kind of role, mo role model. They could be whatever they wanted. That's why, oh my God. Horses! <laughs> I like the horse book. Okay. Why didn't Barbie tell me about patriarchy, which is where men and horses run everything? Sure. I'll okay. take a high level, high paying job with influence, please. Okay, you'll need at least an MBA. You guys are clearly not doing patriarchy very well. We're doing it well. Yeah, we just hide it better now. Oh. Oh. I'm not trained to save them. <laughs> then I can't hire you. I can't even beat him! 
There you are. Oh, no. I need to find somewhere where I can start patriarchy fresh. Who are you? We're Mattel. I've got to talk to somebody in charge. Do I follow Barbie into that scary unmarked black truck car? Yes, that's your, that's your, that's your girl. I'll go back to Barbie land and I'll tell the Kens what I've learned. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Hi, bunny boo boo. Don't call me that. Sorry. Thank God they arrested that nut job. She thinks she's Barbie. I think it was the mother, not Sasha, that owned the Barbie doll. And that's why the mom was kind of having, doing the drawings. The mother shit. I'm not used to that having anything in it. I think they're gonna murder her. We would love it if you could just get into that giant box. Could I just meet the woman in charge? Oh, that would be me. Your CFO. Me? I'm a man with no power. Does that make me a woman? We are a company literally made of women. We had a woman CEO in the 90s. Every single one of these men love women. I'm the mother of a son. I'm, I'm the nephew of a woman aunt. Some of my best friends are Jewish. This is a terrible argument. Absolutely awful. See? Put him in! I'm having real Proustian flashback. Oh, hi. Could I just run to the restroom and make sure my hair is perfect? Fine. I feel like that's a dead giveaway if she starts sprinting. Is he blind? She entered the back rooms. This is really trippy and honestly kind of scary. This is really creepy. What is Mattel up to? You're safe here. So a woman does work here. We do more than work here. You look different. I usually look perfect. I think you're just right. The real world isn't what I thought it was. And isn't that marvelous? I don't like how real this is getting. I mean, I do. But it's like, I'm emotional. You'll find a stairwell Bad down mix. to the lobby. Okay. They're so dumb. <laughs> they can't do, they like can't do anything. Get in now. Come on. Oh. Hurry. Ah. Oh, we didn't need it. Oh, Barbie. There's one with Maya here. A little lonely lately. I ended up making you like me. I you came, came for you. Oh. The complicated feelings, the rejection from her daughter, loneliness. Oh. Hello? Are you two like shining? No. Yes, she is. I want to help women. Oh, come off it. Everybody hates women. Women hate women and men hate women. It's the one thing we can all agree on. Is that true? Wake up, mom. <laughs> say hate maybe i'm naive but i don't think everybody hates women it's you know if you're a good person you're a good person i just think like society's structured a little weird wait i have an idea can you get us to venice beach sure can where are we going barbie land what what about that you can't just leave him he'll be fine Bolygraphos. <laughs> it's like walmart ryan reynolds basically everything that men do in your world women do in ours Closer, I am This could mean extremely weird things for our world. Podcast hosted by two wise trees. Choir of 2,000 young fathers. <laughs> what the hell is any of that? I want to hear the wise tree podcast, though. Oh. That's strange. Did she get replaced? Oh, no. Oh, no, Ken. What did Ken do? He brought the bros. Something's weird today. Hi, Barbie. John Cena? What the? Hi, Ken. Have a brewski beer. Anyway, uh... Definitely everything is dramatized in here. But in like a really funny... Oh, the horses! In a funny way. Where do the Kens stay? I don't know. Everything exists to expand and elevate the presence of men. That's right. Barbie's here. Uh -oh. 
What is it that that meme? The worst guy you know is gonna dress as this Ken for Halloween. Exactly. This is no longer Barbie's dream house. This shall henceforth be known as Ken's Mojo Dojo Casa House. I thought Ken was cool. Ken, we thought you were cool. These Mojo Dojo Casa houses are literally flying off the shelf. Our worlds could be altered forever. Well, I got into this business because of little girls and their dreams in the least creepy way possible. I like that. Where are my hungry boys? Oh my god. I want snacks. What is wrong with them? We just explained to them the immaculate, impeccable, seamless garment of logic that is patriarchy and the crumble. They had no defenses against it. Barbie land. It's now Ken land. If I see someone dressed like Ken, for how I'm punching them, I'm making it a mission to attack them. We failed them. No, you failed me. People respected me just for who I am. <sighs> Why does he have so many watches? I hate those sneakers. Oh my god. TV remote. Let's recap all the amazing changes and innovation. President, Prime Minister, Mayor. Prize in horses goes to. Okay, I'm I, honestly I'll give him that Nobel Prize in horses. Yeah, he deserves it. I love my horsey and my horsey love me. How's that feel? It is not fun, is it? Oh no, she's getting a taste of, of her own medicine. I don't know if he actually wants to hurt her or do any of this stuff, but... Oh, that's pettiness. Okay, all right. That's petty. I was perfect before. I've never wanted anything to change. That's life. It's all change. It is terrifying. I hate change. Oh, that's so scary. Let's go, honey. Let's just... This is the lowest I've ever been, emotionally and physically. Barbie, Barbie, this sucks. Hey. <gasps> oh, oh, hi. Isn't this great? Yes. Wait till you see the boat. The boat. I want to be on a bike like this, like an insanely long tandem bike. this broadcast to bring you our new radio station only playing Ken's favorite song Turn this song up and break. Alan <laughs> what <laughs> I'm to figure out how to build that wall sideways and not just up <laughs> all of NSYNC Alan yes even him. that explains so much be ready for anything I'm, uh, I'm Ken's buddy. Yeah, all his clothes fit me. <laughs> Alan's got some anger to him. Okay. He's got, did Alan know Kung Fu secretly? We just didn't know it? Uh, what are you doing? We gotta go. We have to go back. Barbie Land needs saving. I'm the one who ruined Barbie Land with my stupid drawings in the first they're place. They're not stupid, they're amazing. You like my drawings? I just realized she's the actress that plays Ugly Betty. I am. I'm weird and I'm dark and I'm crazy. Yes, <laughs> choke him with the shovel. Alan is... Alan just committed murder. A Alan is a murderer. The fork in my soup is this, Barb. Why didn't the brainwashing work on you? My exposure to the real world must have made me immune. Come on, Ken. We'll find Barbie at the top of these stairs. The Kens. Get the dog to poop on him. Hide! Humans. We're fine. <sighs> and Alan. That sugar daddy Ken. And you're in magic Ken. Mattel discontinued them. Watch this. <laughs> why would they do that? I don't know why they would do that. Of course. She's not dead, she's just having an existential crisis. I'm not stereotypical Barbie. Pretty Margot Robbie is the wrong person to cast if you want to make this point. I'm not good enough for anything. It is literally impossible to be a woman. <laughs> that hits hard. You have to have money, but you can't ask for money. You're supposed to stay pretty for men, but not so pretty that you tempt them too much. You have to never get old. Never be rude. And it turns out, in fact, that not only are you doing everything wrong, but also everything is your fault. That hit really hard. I did write a book. It's like I've been in a dream. I was somehow really invested in the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League. <laughs> You're back. She's back. We have to stop the Kens. And you need to say all of those things to the- Just say the chads. Just say- just call Kens chads. <laughs> Do you have a map of Barbie land? Wow. First, we have to get the Barbies away from their Kens. We could use a decoy Barbie. Distract them by appearing helpless and confused. 
So they have to sexualize themselves and pretend to be helpless. I just don't understand how to use the select tool. Let me show you. Color bands and magnetic. So you have to pretend to be helpless. What? Any power you have must be masked under a giggle. You can tell them that you've never seen The Godfather. I've never seen it. Oh my God, you've never seen The Godfather? Can you start the movie over and just talk through the whole thing? <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> I just have all my money in a savings account. That's totally wrong. Lou Reed, post-punk influence is such a oh. liar. And what am I wearing? Welcome back, Barbie. Wearing glasses so that they can discover that you're pretty. Yeah. Oh my gosh, not the, not the generic trope of removing the glasses and be like, oh, so beautiful. Now we can see your beautiful face. The thing that makes me feel good is like not every guy is like this. It's just emphasizing a select group of them, you know? But they exist. Now that they think they have power over you, you make them question whether they have enough power over each other. Thank you. Here I go. Hi. Oh, oh. oh he's cleaning? I guess he does like her. You've caught me reading. Oh. <laughs> it's a magazine about horses! <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> he has a constant stream of horses on his TV. <laughs> I'm so ready funny. to be your long-term, low-commitment, casual girlfriend. Did you just hold on for one second? Oh, okay. He's gonna be like, yes, in the background, and then like, bow to his horses. Sublime! Okay. Come on in. <laughs> oh, see, he does have a good heart. He's just always been put down for so long, so that the second that he's like, oh, I can have power, do something, get his way, he'll do it. One of them with the drum set. They're all serenading them. <laughs> Ten! Did you write it? Yes. Oh. I actually feel so bad. Oh, I don't like this. That's evil. What do we do? We go to war. We have no guns. Tennis rackets and volleyballs. And slap fights. I really like the horse, the, the, the horse undertone. It doesn't seem to matter what I do. Oh, I'm gonna be honest with you. The crop tops for dudes, such a vibe. Oh, oh, he took off the fur coat. He's released the tassels. Uh oh. You know what I think? I think we should put our freaking constitution back. This is a real hornet's nest. How did they do that without laughing hysterically with each other? Oh, they're friends now. Weren't we supposed to vote today? What? Oh yeah, they completely missed it. I like that choreography though, that was fun. All those in favor of letting Barbie Land be Barbie Land, say I. I mean, it's nice, but now you kind of see like the inequality and it's a bit sad. Yeah, it's kind of like exactly how they portrayed the, the real world, you know, like how how women are, like, it, how they depicted as women are lesser than men. And in this world, men are lesser than women and should be equal. The Ken should still be appreciated. <laughs> Don't look at me! Can we get rid of the saloon doors? To be honest, when I found out the patriarchy wasn't about horses, I lost interest anyway. I think I owe you an apology. Huh? Not every night had to be girls' night. Oh, I didn't mean to suggest. I just don't know who I am without you. There is no just Ken. Yeah, Ken's not valued as much as Barbie is. The horse lampshade. <laughs> I look so stupid. Yeah. I look so stupid! Oh, no. You do look really cool. Kind of. Maybe all the things that you thought made you you aren't really you. Ken is me? Yes. Ken is me! Ken is me! Ken is me! Ken! Oh! <gasps> no! Barbie and Ken were always advertised together. Ken was never advertised really without Barbie. 
So if you want to keep things how it always is, you put them together. So I'm a little confused. Like I, I know they're touching upon individuality and finding yourself, but just how they always advertised Ken, you know? It's just so hard to be a leader. My boss. It's, ah! Mitch, I thought we discontinued her. Mr. Mattel, I Please, just... call me mother. No, thank you. <laughs> no. no Barbie or Ken should be living in the shadows. Or Alan. Would you like a job in my cabinet? May I please have sanitation? <gasps> what a weird thing! May I please have sanitation? She knew what she wanted. <laughs> what about ordinary Barbie? She's not extraordinary. And she wants to get through the day feeling kind of good about herself. Terrible idea. Yeah, that's going to make money. Uh, ordinary Barbie, I love it. What about Barbie? She's in love with Ken. I don't think I have an ending. I created you so you wouldn't have an ending. She created her? Inventor of Barbie. Her ghost keeps an office on the 17th floor. <laughs> I don't really feel like Barbie anymore. Come, walk with me. That's the real mother. You gotta be calling her mother. Some really dramatic waves. Wait, are you saying goodbye? Thank you, Barbie. I am Kenuff. Is she gonna die? What's happening? Where did she go? I don't think I'm really good at anything else. <laughs> you saved Barbie Land from Patreon. And look at her image. She's not like, she's well polished, but she's, she looks average. She looks not absolutely perfect. Maybe I'm not Barbie anymore. I can't in good conscience let you take this leap without you knowing what it means. Now feel. This got really deep in a way that I didn't expect in the slightest. I thought this was like a really fun, loving, goofy movie, but it hit like a lot of levels, a lot of depth. I never thought a Barbie movie would make me cry so much. Thanks for the lift. That's a political statement. That's a <laughs> I don't know what it means. Oh, <gasps> she's wearing the Jesus sandals, but they're in pink. That's kind of cute i'm here to see my gynecologist and i'm like the bobby i got a lot to take in so this was a hilarious movie it was extremely emotional so deep and it hit some really real themes Wait, I just realized they did not use Aqua's Barbie Girl this whole time. I'm kind of bummed. That's like the superior song. I love Nicki Minaj, but like, this should be Aqua. I'm just saying. I hate they sampled it. I hate that like a lot of newer songs, they do that. I think I had like an entire exist- I like had an anxiety attack during movie. But it was really good. It was so funny. I loved the horses. It was really funny. The actors and actresses did wonderful. The set design was incredible. The writing, I loved all of it. Like, I guess they were trying to parallel with the real world. Dang. I have sat here really thinking about Barbie and, oh yeah, so I just finished watching it. And I've been sitting here really thinking about it, thinking about the, the deeper themes and how they kind of depicted a lot of the serious issues with society nowadays. I realized that this is one of those films that tackled on a lot of different themes on a lot of different issues that I think every individual man or woman could honestly relate to. I had a really strong reaction to the part where it was this speech about being a woman and how feeling like you feel like you have to fit into this this mold. You can't you have to have this image. You need to be perfect all the time and you need to be liked and all of these things. It's it really crazy and it hit me very hard because I would have people put me down for how I look, how I act when I'm just being me. Granted, this movie kind of ex shows that Barbie was was this mold that um, people tried to fit into, an unrealistic mold that just does not exist. Women were definitely like compared to that. This is definitely a movie that guys should watch and really take in like girls feel this way. Like it's scary. The part that resonated with me was the image, was the feeling of not f being good enough in a certain way, whether it be mentally, physically, the part where she's like, I'm not an astronaut, I'm not the president, I'm just, I'm not perfect at everything, therefore I'm not enough. Um, I really liked that and it really spoke to me and I'm sorry that it got really personal. Why am I apologizing? That's what the whole movie's about. Don't apologize for being yourself. I'm me. It's who I am. I kind of made me feel bad though at the end because 
I, I never really liked the topic of men versus women because my ideal was always just treat others the way you want to be treated. Just be as good as you possibly can be. It was definitely an uncomfortable experience at times being exposed to such heavy themes like that because I didn't know how to respond to it. And this movie brought a lot of these themes to the surface, which definitely made me feel uncomfortable. And it was important to kind of like feel them. Um, but the Ken one, I definitely felt really bad because I feel like Ken was the was supposed to to represent like guys who feel very insecure and like they're not enough either and then when you get power that's when like this like version of toxic masculinity comes out which is why they did the generic like frat boy like yeah give me a brewski and i guess that's where like this toxic masculinity idea comes from was like these really ego shattered like dudes who were just hurting on the inside and i think it was nice that they showed ken as like he was just hurting he like suppressed his emotions and he turned into that guys should be able to cry and that whole notion that guys don't have emotions is horrible so that was enough rant about that but i do want to say the amount of horses in this it's great i feel like every movie Movie I've been watching has horses. I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2 on Twitch. Freaking love horses. The horses are in every movie I'm watching lately. The obsession with horses had me dying. I think that had to be like my favorite part of this movie. I loved all of it. I've been going off for so long. Um but I just want to say that I really did enjoy this movie. It was so fun. It was so lighthearted at times. And then it was deep and it was sad and it was emotional. And it, it, it put you through such a range of emotions. And I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please let me know your personal thoughts and feelings down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much. I hope that my ugly crying did <laughs> turn you off too much. Um, and I appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye, everyone. Bye.